So to go back to some more preferences, you have your MIDI preferences, display preferences, you can make every track the same color, every envelope the same color, um, you can change the different colors of, of the volume and pan settings, uh, you, can, you know, folders, this is my different folders that I have. Uh, for saving, you always want to record. Maybe you always want your records to be into one folder, and so on and so forth. You have your editing, your video, rewire devices, VST effects, VST instruments, your syncing options. These are all different options that you could easily use. Um, if you go down here to this panel, by the way, you can easily scroll this up and down depending on how many options, depending on how many tracks that you have in front of you. Double click it, it immediately snaps it to the bottom. Um, this is your MIDI recorder. This is your actual recorder if you're going to record some audio. Um, this is your beat per minute project tempo. Fasten up to 140 beat per minute. You double click it, it snaps to 120. I'm going to insert an audio track here. Let's put it to bus A. You, if you right click any track it's going to give you this basic menu cut copy paste delete duplicate the track you can duplicate it very easily um, you can do a pitch shift you can remove FX automation um, you could assign the color of the track if you'd like you can click on properties and it'll give you the properties of the track let's do uh, if you right click on this top loop let's go to pitch shift you can make it a semitone higher or semitone lower.